Identification of Research Problem, Variables, Research Hypothesis. We will start this lecture with a brief review of previous lecture. And the topic of this lecture are Selection of a Research Problem, Statement of the Research Problem, Constants and Variables, Independent and Dependent Variables, Research Hypothesis, and we will conclude this lecture with a summary. We also learned the concept and example of research reliability. Reliability of research concerns the consistency of the research and the extent to which studies can be replicated. And this reliability of research can also be further categorized into internal reliability and external reliability. Internal reliability means the extent that data collection, analysis, and interpretations are consistent. External reliability means the replicatability of the study. Many researchers can argue that the reliability of research is a necessary condition for the validity of research. In other words, to become a valid research, a research has to be a reliable one. Selection of research problem. To select a research problem, we often use discussion. Through discussion with experts, for example, an advisor, we can identify a research problem by understanding issues and trend. We can explore issues and trend of the research area of interest by literature review. Some researchers suggest two criteria as a good research topic. The first one is the intellectual merit onto academic field. This one concerns innovativeness of idea. The second one is broader impact onto practical fields. This one concerns practical usefulness of research idea. The statement of the research problem should be concise and should identify the key factors, variables of the research study. Let's say you got a research topic which is the creativity of elementary school students. An example of the research statement could be a study of the relationship between divergent thinking scores and scores on 1. General IQ measure 2. A reading achievement test and 3. A measure of physical dexterity. Please note the difference between the format of topic and research statement of this example. Also, this particular type of research problem concerns the relationship between four variables. And let's define this type of research statement as correlation type of research statement. Instead of concerning the relationships among variables, you can impose a theory regarding independent and dependent. And let's define this type of research as a casual type of research statement. Example 2. Topic of example 2 is te teaching techniques and achievement. And an example of research statement could be a study of the effects of three teaching techniques on science achievement of junior high school students. In this particular research statement, you specify the teaching techniques as independent variable and the science achievement of junior high school students as dependent variable. How about your topic and research statement? Please develop any research topic in your area of interest and write down the statement of research include a conceptual framework diagram. Also, please identify your research statement whether correlational or casual. Constant can be defined as a characteristic or condition that is the same for all individuals in a study. And variables can be defined as a characteristic that takes on different values or conditions for different individuals. In example 2, please identify constants and variables. How about teaching techniques? Is this a constant or a variable? How about achievement? Is this a constant or a variable? How about science as a subject? Is this a constant or a variable? 
Can you find any other constant in this example? Or can you find any other variable in this example? As we discussed in early, we define the example one type of research statement as a correlational type of research. Also, we define the example two type of research statement as a casual type of research statement. In example two type of research scenario, you can characterize independent and dependent variable. An independent variable is a variable works as cause, and therefore the arrow is coming out of that specific variable. A dependent variable is a variable that works as an effect, and therefore the arrow is coming into that specific variable. Please develop any example two types, casual research statement, and please identify which variable is independent variable and which variable is a dependent variable. A research hypothesis is a special form of research statement with 1. Pinpointing the specific problem under study 2. Including an expected relationship between variables As we can see in this slide, we can develop three different research hypotheses from the example 1 research statement. Note that a research hypothesis should pinpoint the specific problem or relationship of study and should include an expected relationship between variables. As we can see the third research hypothesis in the example, even no or zero relationship can be an example of expected relationship. Let's try the example 2-1. The research statement of the example 2-1 is a study of the effects of the student's self-efficacy on science achievement of junior high school students. Note that this research statement does not include any expected relationship between variables. However, an example of research hypothesis of this example could be strong positive effect from the student's self-efficacy on the science achievement of junior high school students. How about developing your own research hypothesis based on your research statement? Don't forget a research hypothesis should pinpoint the specific problem or relationship of study and should include an expected relationship between variables. In this lecture, we learned how to select a research problem, understanding and how to develop the statement of research problem, Understanding concepts of constants and variables. Understanding concepts of deep independent and dependent variables. Understanding concepts and how to develop research hypotheses.